everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be making corker bows or corker ribbon for making bows. So this is a corker bobble and this is called corker ribbon. So it's just twirly ribbon, it's quite springy but it makes a nice uh, bow or bobble. So I'm going to show you today how to make the actual ribbon. So first of all, you're going to need some wooden dowels. Now these are a quarter inch in diameter, which is around half a centimetre. And you can get these from most hardware stores, or you could even buy them uh, on eBay or Amazon. I'm sure I got these from eBay. If you go to your local DIY store, you probably get these in really long lengths. You could ask them to cut them for you. Uh, these ones are 30 centimetres long, which is around 12 inches. But um, as long as they will fit in your oven, you can have them as long as you want. Uh, you will also need some pegs or some clothes pins. These also need to be wooden. Obviously, it's because they're going to be going into the oven. You don't want anything metal so it gets too hot. Um, wooden ones are the best ones. So you're also going to need your ribbon. Now for this, the ribbon that I use is 3 eighths of an inch or it is 10 millimetre, which is one centimetre ribbon. I'm making some school ones, so I'm going to do this yellow and burgundy. And what we're going to do is we take the ribbon, we get the dowel, And we secure the ribbon, so just wrap that around there like that and get a little bit closer. We secure the ribbon on there with a clothes peg, clothes pin, whatever you want to call it. Now do it at a very slight angle because we're going to start winding these round. A little bit fiddly to start with, but you will get the hang of it. So we just peg that on the end of the dowel like that. Now what we do if you notice these pegs have got names on them too my daughter likes to write the names of her toys on them and she uses them to play games with so if you see any little names on the pegs that is the reason why okay so holding the ribbon between your finger and your thumb i rest my index finger on the dowel just to guide that ribbon and as we are twirling it round We just twirl it round the dowel. Don't overlap the ribbon, but try and get it as close together as it can. And if you have gaps in, like this has a little bit, we just push the ribbon up, but don't overlap the ribbon. Make sure it's nice and tight around that dowel. So we're going to twirl this all the way around. I'm twirling it with the other hand, just not moving this one, just using it as a guide and twirling this. Easier to twirl the stick round than it is the ribbon. And we're just going to twirl that all the way, pushing it up as we go if we get any gaps, making sure it's tight all the way to the end of the stick. And like I say, you want to do this at an angle, not straight. So we get those corker twirls. And when you get to the end of the dowel, depending on the length that you've chosen, remember you need to put this in your oven. So don't, you can't have a sort of a meter length dowel unless you have an, an oven that is a meter wide. So when we get to the end, we cut the ribbon and then peg on the end like that. So you need to do quite a few of each of these. I have only got four dowels left. I've used these over and over and over again in the oven and eventually they do go brittle and snap. So I would say I've used them maybe a hundred times. So you do get a lot of use out of them, but keep that in mind. 
Um, as you can see, these are quite dark and they have been baked. And if I, if I bend them slightly, they will snap. So I'm trying to be quite careful with these because I did have 20 and I've only got four left at the minute. So once you've got them all wrapped around like this, I'm gonna do two burgundy and two yellow. And then I'll let you know what we do next. So here we've got all the dowels. I say all the dowels, there's only four there. Uh, but I've got the dowels done. It's a bit time consuming. Uh, after you've done the first couple, you'll get used to doing it. And the next thing is to pop these in the oven. Yes, you did hear me right. We are going to put these in the oven. So these need to go in the oven for 25 minutes. You can leave them in there for longer if you want to. I find if you're using printed patterned ribbon, you might want to keep a check on them after 25 minutes or around 25 minutes just to make sure they're not browning. Um, but around 25 minutes is all it takes for this to work. So they need to go in at 275 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 140 degrees Celsius. And I have a fan oven, so they need to be set on at 120 degrees Celsius. So this is why I said they need to, as long as they fit in your oven, you can have whatever size you want. This oven tray is a little bit smaller than the width of my oven, but these 30 centimeter dowels fit on this tray nicely, which is why I use 30 centimeters. Plus the length of the bows that I make, um, I tend to fold these 30 centimeter ones in half and use that if you want to make longer corkers obviously you need to make longer ribbons so measure the width of your oven and get your dowels to uh, the right width so we're going to pop these in now for 25 minutes and we'll come back when that's done and i'll show you how to go from there so it's been about 25 minutes i've just taken these out of the oven they're pretty hot so i'm just going to leave them to cool down for a little bit um and then we're going to take them off the dowels and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. So these have cooled down a little bit now and we're going to take them off the dowels. I'll show you what they look like. So we just unclip the pegs off them all. Also be careful of the metal part of the pegs, it will be really hot. So we just slide these unravel it a little bit and then slide them off the dowels and there we go a corker ribbon and they will stay this shape they won't um, come off or anything like that they won't loosen up and there we are our corker ribbons so you could pull these and they're not going to get any different they stay in place from being in the oven so to make a bobble like this i've used 10 strands so i've only got four here i've only got four dowels i'm going to go off in the background and make some more of these obviously it takes 25 minutes each time so it's very time consuming i do suggest you get at least 10 of the dowels um and then you can get all the ribbon that you need now, as I was saying, watch it in the oven if it's printed. This is printed ribbon with a pattern on one side. Um, you do need to watch that that doesn't go too brown in the oven. This, as you can see, is one of these lengths. And I'll show you on a video tomorrow how to actually make it into a bobble. They are easier to make as bobbles than they are clips or hair elastics. We call them bobbles here in uh, the UK. So if you're not already subscribed to the channel, turn the post notifications on and you will be notified when <clears throat> the new video for these goes up tomorrow. And yeah, I'll show you how these strands becomes one of these. All I will say for the end of these ribbons as well, sometimes they look a bit unneat where you've pegged them. All we'll do for these is just trim it so it looks neat heat seal the ends so we've got a little bit of extra there where it wrapped around and it doesn't look neat so we'll just trim it down a little so it does look neat and heat seal those ends so just get the lighter watch your fingers 
heat seal those ends really quickly and that is now prepared for making a bobble with tomorrow so thank you for watching i hope it was informative if you need to know anything pop a comment in the comment box below if you can't do that and you have facebook pop over to my facebook group ellie pops bespoke youtube channel and i will pop a link to that group in the description so i'll see you on the next video thanks for watching